Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Got some more Metaphor Ari Fantasio today. 14 days until we depart from Virga Island. Gives us plenty of time to get ready and level up our bonds, level up some of our royal virtues, among other things. I did want to share some stuff. I actually went and did a little bit of uh, grinding off camera, just because I don't think grinding is particularly interesting to watch. And I came across a new... Well, I wouldn't say new, but I pretty much gave Hulkenberg a new archetype, the Samurai, which is a level 3 warrior. It's just because I was kind of feeling like she was falling off a bit in Pugilist. And Katarina... Uh, Katarina is story-based, so I'm not sure when I'm going to get the third level of Brawler, in essence. So if we take a look at our skill inheritance, I decided to go with Formation of Vigor, Shelter Formation, Dodge Master, and Slash Boost. Now we can also take a look at the skills we have. Giant Slice, Thunderblade, Attack Lore, Concentrate, Unwavering Blade, Regenerate 3, and probably my favorite is Sturdy Stance. I'm kind of like building Hulkenberg to be this character that, I guess in essence, she doesn't really take any damage, and she's always there to never get KO'd, because as soon as someone gets KO'd, you just lose a turn, and it kind of all goes downhill from there. I also made Stroll into a Magic Knight. Uh, I'm not saying Cleric is bad by any means, but I feel like if you just inherit Medicha, which I'm going to do now, it kind of makes everything, I wouldn't say like useless, but it definitely isn't as good. So we'll pick up right. pick up Medica. And I actually don't even feel the need to pick up Samurakarm because we can we can buy infinite bombs of lives from uh, the church in Grand Trad. So I don't actually see the reason why to include it, but that's just me. And if we pair this with Godly Blessing, it kind of makes it even more broken, which I'm really a big fan of, honestly. So I shall take that. Myself, I'm staying a wizard. And Heisme kind of switches between Sniper and Assassin for the most part. I still like June as a Masked Dancer, and definitely Yufa as a Summoner. Speaking of Yufa, uh, it's probably a good time to go over the Summon Experiments. So pretty much what this is, is unlike Yufa's, unlike, uh, sorry Yufa, unlike Juna's Mask, where you have to equip it every single time, this thing is just a vessel that you can have in your inventory, pretty much. And it will unlock skills for... Yufa to use. So if we made the Stone Wing Vessel, we should be able to get skills, fire skills, for Yufa that she can use at any time. And see, I, I think this is pretty cool because, in essence, you're just, she's kind of like a jack of all trades type, especially if you manage to find all these different talismans. I see it as something that could be really helpful in many different situations, depending on the enemy you're facing. So I'm not really sure, <laughs> it kind of feels broken a little bit, just like a tiny bit. Uh, especially compared to Ju uh, Juna, who has to equip the mask. But I can see I can see the good and the bad for both of them, honestly. Anyway, so if we look at Yufa's skills now, Yufa has the Gargoyle, which is deals heavy ma fire damage to one enemy, may inflict burn. And I think I don't. Th I think you can have as many of those relics as you want. By the way, I think she can probably just have like 15 different abilities at some point, or 10 different abilities. And I'm not sure if they max out or whatever, but it's uh, yeah, it's pretty good for me. It makes me quite happy. I've even gone ahead and looked at the next tier of summoner, and it doesn't look all that different except for the synthesis skills. The synthesis skills are definitely, uh, I'd say, unique. Is probably a good word for them. And these also rely on finding vessels, by the way, so... It's all about coming across items which we can use, and... Pretty much putting them to our advantage whenever we face an enemy that's... Weak to a particular element. Anyway, I think that's enough yakking about that stuff. We have quite a few requests to do once we get back to Virga hey. Island. And, of course, bonds, and like I said, royal virtues, which we'll do as well. Okay, Alright, speaking of bonds, here's Yufa. She wants to do something, which is good. That's because we did her quest last time, the one I struggled quite a bit with. I don't know why I struggled so much with it, but I did, and that wasn't fantastic. Anyway, so we can do Yufa. We do have another quest as well, and I actually think I'm going to do that. Yes, Juna's quest. So it has a little been a little while, so I need to remind myself of what the quest was. So save the morning snake and peak curiosity are on the same route, if you would, pretty much the same gauntlet uh, runner route. All right, then. 
So I do want to go check the weather, because obviously I don't want to go when it's go. poor weather. Fortunately, we do have a, our friend here, Edeni, who can change the weather for us. Hey. Yeah, so this weather is like permanently bad, it seems like. Every time I look over here, it's always like three days of heat. So, we should probably change it. That be all? What the fuck? <laughs> you want this stuff? Uh, yeah, I'll give Sorry. you this. Oh my god, he's not gonna let me change the weather, screw you. This guy doesn't sell uh, any of the fish I need, which is pretty unfortunate, I have to say. I was really hoping he would, but uh, it doesn't seem like that's meant to be at this point. Yeah, I'm not sure where you buy these tuna. You probably buy them from somebody in the store. This asshole, he couldn't just change the weather, could he? Fucking a Denny. Alright, so I've decided I'm just gonna go anyway. Uh, I probably will regret this, almost like guaranteed to regret it, if I'm being honest with you, but... At the same time, he's just- if he's gonna cuck me like this, then, you know, like, I'm not gonna wait for him. Sorry. I don't know when I'm gonna get that item, and the only way you can cook in this game is if you're on the Gauntlet Runner and you're on an adventure. So it's not as if I can just cook something up and give it to him. Anyway, let's go to the Spire of Blind Faith. This is for Juna's quest, and we'll do this one along the way. So, we'll get those two done really quick. I actually think it might be okay, because I see myself being a pretty decent level right now, so... I don't think it's going to be all that terrible. Almighty Golden Stew Recipe. Oh boy, that would have been nice to have before. I don't even have the th I don't even have what he needs. He needs Mellow Milk. Increases attack. Oh wow, this is a really sick thing though. This is pretty much Heat Riser. For the whole team. It's not that bad either. Luma Bee, Limp Goldfish, this- this uh, they sell all this stuff too. Interesting. Can we go back please? <laughs> Can we please go back? Alright, so we're going to stop at Orbois Path because we have a quest here. So it might as well. The weather's actually fine here, which is great. So that's nice. Only have to deal with shit weather in one area, which is ah, awfully see. generous. Right. Alright, so this is for Juna's quest too, so... It's pretty good because maybe we'll be able to hang out with Juna once we go to the other location. I'd be quite happy about that. Alright, so let's take myself, Hulkenberg, uh, Yufa, and probably, not Stroll, let's take, let's take Juna. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good team, pretty decent, Hulkenberg in the front, everybody else in the back. We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. I do have to say, most of the dungeons in this game look kinda similar. Like, they're, they're obviously not carbon copies or anything, uh, but it's one of those things, if I had to nitpick about anything, uh, that's probably something I would. Okay, these enemies are so weak that we're not even, uh, killing them. Which is kind of nice. Yeah, that's kind of, kind of exactly what I wanted to see, actually, so... I am perfectly fine with this. Funny enough, it actually might prove to be a good thing that there's a storm at the upcoming location, because if I'm gonna one-shot all the enemies anyway, I might as well get some... Might as well get the bonus XP from it. Okay, cool, got another mask. This is a mask for, uh, what, if it's a mask, uh, wait, what? Oh, okay. If it's a mask, it's for Juna. If it's a talisman, it's for Yufa. <laughs> Just something I gotta get used to. Gotta get used to this type of stuff, you know? Oh, gold beetle, nice. Yeah, like I said last video, I have not been finding many gold beetles at all, so. <laughs> not sure if I just suck at it or what, but, uh, they are quite, quite the rarity lately. Yeah, I've yet to face an enemy, by the way, that I couldn't kill in the overworld, which is, like I said, fine with me, seeing how... <laughs> I did quite a bit of grinding, like, I was... I was just doing grinding because I was kind of thinking that my archetype experience was a little bit low. And I was looking at some of the ones I would want later on in the game, and they look pretty expensive. And at the same time, I don't want to, like, grind through them manually, so... I'm sure you understand. Incredible. Bloodthirsty Vesture. Demonic vestment that grows more powerful when monster blood spilled upon it. That sounds really cool, and then you look at the effect and it's like, oh, just restores HP. It's like, oh, you thought that was going to be something unique? <laughs> Alrighty, so we're at the boss fight. We've explored pretty much the entire dungeon, which is always nice. It was quite, it was a small dungeon. I mean, it helped obviously that I was one-shotting enemies, but... It was a pretty, pretty small little dungeon. Hopefully the boss fight isn't super AIDS. So, 
I think we faced one of these things before. But it's like a purple version. Level 42, yeah, so we're six levels higher than this thing. <laughs> Kinda probably a little bit over leveled, but you know, it's... We did the dungeon first, so I don't particularly feel bad about it. I guess if we did the other areas first and went to the dungeon, probably would have been better, and that's what I'll likely do in the future. Anyway, this thing's weak to fire, so I guess we just start uh, hitting it in the face. That was pretty cool. That was a good little use of the gargoyle there. I don't know, I feel like if you can have unlimited uh, talismans with Yufa, I just feel like she's super busted because she can cover off like so many different elements and uh, types of skills. And she doesn't need to equip anything, she just goes into battle with it always on. Alright, let's use a new, let's use a Hulkenberg ability, shall we? Phantom Swordsman. Or Sword Swarm. Medium physical damage, 4-6 to six times one enemy. If it's a killing blow, adds one turn icon. I doubt this will be a killing blow, but we can try. Take my power. And thus I end it. Still standing up. That was pretty good. I mean, it was six turns. It's hard to it's hard to kind of shit talk that considering how it went. Okay, killed in one turn. Nice. That, that also means we get the. Uh, Get the flawless triumph or whatever it's called, unscathed victory. Yes, excellent. Nice. Great work, Captain. The islanders will be happy to hear the news. Let's hurry and let them know. Thank you. Ah, Juno's quest complete. Very nice. Increases imagination. We don't actually need imagination. I'd say if we the two virtues I want to work on the most are definitely wisdom and uh, actually, probably just Wisdom. I think Wisdom is the most important. So here's an update of where we are. We're very close to level 4 Wisdom. Uh, level 4 Tolerance, pretty close to that too. I've noticed that Eloquence and even Courage are pretty pretty quick to level up, so I'm not too worried about those. But first, might I ask you a random question? What does Strength truly mean to you? I'd say Show Compassion. Strength is to show compassion to others, I suppose. Well, aren't you considerate? I wouldn't have thought. Well, then you pass. I hereby appoint you to the position of my personal escort. You do know that I have an adoring public all over the continent, yes? I get absolutely swarmed when I go out alone. How honored you must feel. <laughs> oh, but I kid. I'm just glad to have you aboard. After all, we're both putting our lives on the line to achieve the same goal, are we not? So let me put it to you again. If there's something I want to save, are you still willing to risk your life for it? I do appreciate you fighting alongside me, and I was deadly serious about the escort thing. So, let's give it our best. Handshake. Thank you for the handshake. The ephemeral songstress, Juna. Within her dwells the virtue of the masked dancer. Nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. All right, level one, Juna. I can rely on you. The party can now study the mass dancer. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about the mass dancer. Like, it's kind of, uh, it's good. It's not bad, but I just, I just wonder if there's a better alternative for her. Because I feel like the mass dancer is a worse summoner in some ways. I know it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a mean thing to say, but. Reminds me. I did promise to teach you a songstress's secrets. The 
though I hardly think they're all that impressive, all I do is show everyone the me I want to be. It's the audience who sees that and feels what they do about it that makes me a songstress. It sounds cryptic, I know, but watch close and you'll see what I mean. Right, my good man? So, for your first duty as my new escort, shall we head back? Yeah, let's go back to the entrance. Alrighty, so that dungeon took like two seconds, which I'm honestly perfectly fine with. I mean, it would have been nice to, you know, grind a little bit, I suppose. Wait, are we going back in? Yeah, it would have been nice to grind, but at the same time, we have some more important business to attend to. I really want to start on the next island, because I, I have a feeling we're going to go to a new town at the end of this video, or maybe midway. It really depends how quickly I move through stuff. There also is that bounty I want to do as well, so... Yes, anyway, let's go to the next area. The weather's gonna be shit over at, uh, Spire of Blind Faith, but that's fine. Alright, let's take this time to level up my Wisdom, because, again, Wisdom is kind of a, kind of a bitch to level up. It takes, it takes way longer than you'd think, because even though you have those, uh, places on the route you can go to and stuff like that, for the most part it's, uh, I think it's easily the worst, the mm. toughest one. Yikes. The th you know the thing is, I've never actually played chess before, which is kind of, uh, <laughs> doesn't exactly make me look good, does it? Alright, so we only got three wisdom from that, but it was enough to get to, uh, Eludite, which is great. I have a feeling, I wonder if that's because of one of the options. Yeah. So it actually, so whatever you pick here actually impacts. I see. Alright, let's head to the islands. Let's head to the Spire. I'm pretty sure the Spire always has bad weather, by the way. So, yes, I know the weather's bad. It might actually work out, like I said earlier, that the Spire's bad, because... If I'm gonna one-shot enemies anyway, I might as well take the... I might as well take the extra XP buff, you know what I mean? Alright, meditating with Yufa gave me level 4 imagination. That's always nice. Always good to have that in my back pocket. Imagination. So we're level 4 with everything. We're pretty close to tolerance, and like I said, eloquence is super easy to level up, I find, so... I'm pretty convinced of that at this point that leveling up all your royal virtues in your first playthrough is pretty doable. Yeah, I got a little detour on the way to the islands. Uh, looks like a village. Silento. What's oh, a nice little- oh, wow, it's beautiful. That looks like a Fiji. Yeah, it is. It really does. Looks like, oh, like Fiji or Samoa or something. What? Whoa, they're oh, they're selling jeweled roots. They're only selling two of them, but still, damn, nice. Really good, really good. Yeah, I don't see why I wouldn't buy one of these. These jeweled roots. I'm actually, I'm also gonna buy some of these Nilfheim plunges because I think there's gonna come a point in the game. Where I'm just gonna be kinda like needing to kill time and I might as well get my magic up. Hey. That was a nice little uh that was a nice little detour. As the sun said the Actually, I love the detours, I have to say. I think the detour I think the whole adventure mechanic is super fun. It's definitely it's a really nice like change. It's kinda like a slice of life almost. Big fan of it. Alright. Got some more eloquence. Uh, getting close to level four. Probably one more session with Juno. Sporico Cave. Wow, pretty. Mm. Tis a place that grows ever more curious. This actually looks somewhat realistic. Some of these, uh, some of these detours have been a little bit kind of goofy, just with the placement of the characters. Oh. But I like this one. Always take more wisdom. Definitely need as much wisdom as I can get. Yeah, four, three, 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 four, four, four. Not bad. Yeah. All right, thank you. I have to take these from Maria. I haven't seen Maria in quite a long time. She's probably probably pretty upset with me. She's like, Mister hasn't come back. All right, so it's actually time for a newer spawn. Remember that relic we found? I think we found the relic. Yeah, we found the relic during Yufa's questline, if I remember correctly. So, 
Time to speak to Nurus and get that going. I want a Nurus precious relics. Six, six lethal lights. Nice. Thank you. Alrighty, Norris, level 4 Scion skill. I'm pretty interested to see what the third classic gunner is for Norris, because based on the silhouette, it looks like a mech. It's like a like cool little, cool little uh, Evangelion mech. Okay, it's another relic. Uh, nice. Okay. Probably, how many more relics do you think? Probably four more, right? Just based on the fact we're rank 4. Yeah, it took for it took forever to get to the spire. My God, it took it took so long. Not the monster notebook. Huh? Quest with quest within a quest. Classic. What can I do? Taking a taking a page out of Bethesda's uh, quest line, it would seem. Attack from a distance. Okay, so that means probably probably Heisme will be in for the final battle if I had to guess. Okay then. I have a feeling the inside of the spire is going to look very similar to the tower in Martiro. Remember that tower? What was it with the Guptaros thing or whatever the fuck? Yeah, this thing. Yeah, this looks like a, like a plain replica. Maybe like a slight, slight difference in color. Fortunately, these enemies are dying very quickly because we're probably a bit overleveled, like we established earlier. But it's a good thing that there's a storm for now because it means I get more XP. Okay, so we couldn't kill this thing, which means it's probably level 46. Holy shit, 46. Pretty high level, actually. That's such a ridiculous skill. God damn. God damn, that's powerful. Got actually a good amount of XP from that, too, so these enemies are not to be trifled with. Interesting. That thing is just one-shotting. I love it. Okay, it's such a powerful ability. Like, obviously it is, because it's a... Uh, it's level 20 ability for the uh, Samurai, which is a level 3 skill. Or level 3 lineage, so... It. I mean, it makes sense, but... Just so satisfying. Alright, I got another another enemy, Leo Griff. Yeah, most of these... I think almost all of these enemies are weak to strike, or weak to uh, piercing damage, so... It's pretty good that we have Heisman as a sniper. I think Heisman as a sniper kind of works well, too. I mean, I know he's all about getting up close and personal, but... At the same time, jumping back and, you know, fleeing, it's kind of within his rep repertoire. This is amazing. Whoa! Sure Tidal Trident, Lance Blessed by the God of the Ocean. Oh, shit. That actually might be good for Stroll, because we made Stroll into a knight. He's using a lightning glaive, so would I rather have a lightning glaive or a wind glaive? Pretty much the same thing, except one's wind, one's electric. Uh, I actually think I'll stick with the lightning, because we have some decent wind damage already. Uh, this room looks pretty not great. Uh, I got like two hippogriff things and a skeleton. God, 3600 damage. I'd gladly take that. <laughs> uh, Hulkenberg's carrying us, it's great. This guy's level 50, holy shit, he's pretty high level. He's actually higher level than I am right now. Academic Dolman, I think I will steal that if I can. Thank you very much. That wasn't too bad. Pretty easy for the most part. Can't complain too much. Got like a thousand XP from it too. Perfect. Alright, that room is dealt with. And Gold Beetle. Perfect. All the Gold Beetles, uh, I found like probably four or five of them in the last, I'd say, four hours. Which is definitely better than the previous four hours where I found none. So maybe they're kind of coming back into play a bit. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Oh my god, they're fucking annoying. There's so many of them! Can you imagine having to face these things normally? Hell no. It's so much XP though. Level 49, keep putting it into magic. Actually, I have, I have five points. Why do I have five points? I must have been forgetting to allocate when I was grinding. Oopsie. Anyway, also, let's take a look at that uh, academic thing, shall we? Uh, where is it? Plus seven magic. Only students are permitted to wear this uniform. 
Yeah, plus seven magic is good, but it has no evasion. And what I'm currently wearing is plus one all stats. I mean, I kind of... Actually, I think I am going to equip this. <laughs> I didn't think I would, but plus seven magic is really nice. I completely miss out on evasion, but I, I shouldn't really be evading as a wizard anyway, so... It is what it is. What an incredible find, Nasu's Longbow. Well, that contains the Soul of a Legendary Warrior. Skills that hit multiple... Oh, that's great for Heisme. That's... That's really good for Heisme, because Heisme has some of those, uh... Some of those skills that uh, require multiple hits, and this would pretty much guarantee it, which is... That seems really good. Alrighty, time to head in and uh, face this boss. Probably, I think, I kind of expect this boss to be easy, but maybe it won't be, because the enemies have been a little bit tougher than I thought. It's literally the same- okay, wait a second. It's literally the same enemy from the Yufa dungeon, or the Juna dungeon? Alright, this thing is level 55, that's pretty high level, honestly. Uh, let's steal from it. Crystal Ice Goombai, that sounds pretty good. Hey, Heat Riser, nice. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen Heat Riser. First time we've seen it, and hopefully the last. Damn it, wouldn't that have been, that would have been sick if that killed him. Damn. Damn, damn, that would have been so epic. That was a really cool animation, though. Okay, it's dead. That fight wasn't too bad, as long as we- as long as you don't keep anybody in the front row, it looks like it's kind of a joke. 6900 XP though. Excellent. That's always helpful. What should we do? Uh, let's go back to the entrance. Uh, th this, uh, this tower was pretty much the same as the one in, uh, Amartira, like I kind of suspected. I mean, I understand why dungeons are gonna look the same sometimes, obviously, but still. I think they probably could have done a little bit different, except for like a slight change in the color. Not to get on Atlas's back or anything, obviously. Alright, let's go back to camp. We're gonna have, I think, ten, nine, nine or ten days left of uh, exploration after this, which is pretty decent. Get our bonds up, all that stuff I talked about earlier. 40 degrees Celsius in nighttime, by the way. God damn. That is toasty. Alrighty, man, sister's been returned safely. Hero's Jeweled Root. Wow, that's really nice. Hero's Jeweled Root is 3,000 archetype XP, which is quite a pretty penny, I have to say. Courage and Mag- uh, Courage and Reeve is also good as well. Alright, nice. So, 43344. Four. Alright, so you may remember this shopkeeper who pretty much refused to give me any items. Uh, I guess she's willing to give me items now because I have my wisdom at four, so that's nice. That's good, you got some good stuff for me? Mo oh, she sells this type of stuff, I see. Yeah, I'm not really that interested because most of the time they just turn out to be shit and I'm at the point of the game where I want like legendaries only, so... Thanks, but no thanks. Alright, so as much as I would like to hang out with Yufa and Juna for the most part, I actually am going to check on the request. Because if you remember, we have a bounty we have to do. Yes, yeah, this 90,000 Reeve bounty, the Sai Sayoklopos, at uh, somewhere in Grand Trad. So we'll take it. Get the courage, get the Reeve. It's always nice. I like doing all the bounties. I think we may get a reward if we do all the bounties, hopefully. Do it. An eight. So we gotta go to Grand Trad. Well, that's fine. Oh, okay. So we we actually have access to a village now too. Interesting. And right there's a labyrinth. Scoundrels hold an ligno. Curious. Monster of the Mausoleum. I was about to get some information about the scoundrel hold because I talked about it, but now I see this monster of the mausoleum. Oh. Uh I see. Apparently it's for something I already did. We have a pending request there. Alright, two days to get to the scoundrel hold. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Should get there pretty quickly, Let's I imagine. Alright, got my Tolerance to level 4. Yeah, Tolerance is one of those things that levels up quite quickly, actually, which I'm a big fan of. So that's always good to see. Let's stop at this uh, place, by the way, this Ligno. I love the art. The art is so nice. Even these little backdrop uh, photos. Alrighty, what do we have here? Gold Bouillon. Uh, 
Uh, protect and select by two. Eh, not really. Oh, what the fuck is all this? Holy shit, this stuff's expensive. Uh, medium MP recovery, resist fire damage, resist ice damage. These are all for the masked dancer or uh, a cleric. Golden armor, resist slash damage. Holy shit. God damn, this stuff is expensive. I thought I was kind of like get, getting the money in, but not really. So here's a question. Do you think the shop discount applies to villages? I don't think it does. So, I think I'm gonna buy... If I had to buy one of these, I would buy... I'd probably go with resist ice damage, because I think... I'm pretty sure that June is weak to ice, given the archetype she's using currently. So it kind of seems like a good idea, but it's so expensive, though. It's so expensive. I, it's kind of like one of those things, don't buy the first thing you ever see in a store. I kind of feel like that applies here. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna pass. I know, it's such a, like, a... It's uh, such a blue ball thing to do, but... Eh. I like that it's for now, so we have this tarp overhead. Very appropriate. I wonder if the tarp's there all the time, or only when it's raining. Is this the place? Alright, uh, the scoundrel stronghold, we have arrived. Interesting how the star of this dungeon looks all too familiar. <laughs> all good. Yeah, Goborns are actually really annoying. I'd say that Goborns, Goborns are some of the toughest enemies in the game, just because they have no weakness, and because they get enraged if you have, like, one of, like, six classes in your party. And chances are you are gonna have one of those six classes, so... Oh, there's a relic in here, too. Nice. Mage, healer, wouldn't work, and summoner wouldn't work. Well, I don't know what to tell you, because uh, we're definitely gonna go into this using all of those, so... <laughs> This'll be fun. Nice. Oh, okay, fam. Found Nurse's relic really quick. That's good. Hey. The enemies in here are kind of a joke, by the way, because we're kind of overleveled, so we're just like one-shotting them. I am, I have to admit though, I am worried about the boss. I think the boss may be tough, just because if it's a Gorbo, it's gonna be... It's gonna get all angry and start flailing at me and shit. Yeah, if I wasn't overleveled, this area would really suck, by the way. <laughs> this area would not be great. Gold Beetle. Take another Gold Beetle, thank you very much. I feel like I should be able to find all the Gold Beetles, given how I'm, like, pretty much 100%ing this game at this point, but... Feels like it's been a struggle, and considering where I think I am in the story, I'd say we're probably, like, 70% done, maybe? 75% done? And I definitely have not found 75% of the total beetles, so... Alright, the Goborn leader is Cy It's a Cycropos with a different skin color. <laughs> it's just like... I mean, at least they changed the skin color, I guess. Level 43 and level 52. I'm kinda, I wanna see what type of... what type of goods you have. Regeneration Bell. I think I already have one of those, and I don't think I want to waste my turn, so... Okay, that was a pretty easy turn. The... The Goborns... These little Goborn guys, they didn't get upset that I was, uh... I brought a... Wizard into the fights, because I'm a mage, obviously, so that's good. Yeah, that fight was kind of a joke. <laughs> that that fight was definitely easy, so... 4,000 XP for pretty much nothing, which I always appreciate. Level 50, big 5-0, halfway to level 100. I get the feeling, by the way, that um, probably won't need to be level 100 for the final fights. Probably like 75 to 80 is acceptable based on past uh, Megaton experience. Unless there's like a super boss that's uh, separate from the story. Alrighty, let's go pick up that a beautiful, beautiful... No, Wait a second, are we... <laughs> we went back to Virka Island to eat, even though the bounty was in Grand Trad. Alright, that's fine, I guess. People people can do what they want. Alright, because our level, wisdom is level 4, by the way, we can go continue Hulkenberg's right. bond if we wanted to. I mean, that's kind of tempting. Uh, we're, we're gonna do them all eventually, so it doesn't really... It doesn't really matter so much what order, I guess. The enormous eyeball. Yep, that's right. I got the enormous eyeball. We did it. Ninety thousand breathe. <laughs> Gladly take it. Get some courage from that too, which is always nice. All right. 
I say it looks like our courage is like about halfway through. So what do I need to focus on? I still think I need to focus on wisdom probably. And everything else looks to be maybe eloquence could use a little buff, but eh. Alright, so let's go see Malia because Malia gives more XP, which is kind of what I want. We also have some pictures for her, and of course I like her too, so that's another reason why. This cunt again? Fine, uh, whatever. Uh. No? No, didn't spill paint? That's just what the tree looks like. I could, I could never do this with kids. I just couldn't. Like, if, uh, you know what I mean? I just, I don't have the patience. Always comes back to the parents, doesn't it? Okay. It kind of does. At the end of the day, it always does. We became friends. Really amazing. Mister. Mar these people don't deserve Maria. Maria is just uh, too good. Um, too nice. Anyway. Alright, so level 7 with Malia. Significantly increased post battle XP. I probably should have done this before I grinded, huh? Oh well, that's fine. Plenty of time to grind in the future. Chef's Chops is nice as well. Alrighty, it's the next day. Let's go see... Uh, we actually have quite a few options. We could see Juna, Heisme, uh, Brigitte, or Nurus. I think we'll see Brigitte because we're level 6 with her. This will get her to 7. I kind of want to finish some of these up. It's a, it's not the best, most efficient way to do it, obviously, but I kind of I like doing it this way. Interesting. I see. So she she has these prototypes yes. all lined up. Makes sense. I actually like Brigitte's character quite a bit. I have to say, she is what she is one of the more interesting backstories. I'm not saying I'm not saying that people uh, some of the characters have not interesting backstories, but I like hers particularly. I believe in you. You give me hope. Yeah, so level seven, igniter connoisseur. Further widens the variety of items sold at the Magic Association and supply crates. Oh, cool. All right. So this is like Barton's, except instead of items, it's Reeve. Kind of makes sense for being the merchant uh, archetype and all that. Whoa, popularity level rank. Damn, nice. Also, I've been misinterpreting the popularity rank. I don't know why I think it's people voting for me. It's it is people voting for me, but it's within the context of how popular I am relative to other people, so... It's- it's all relative. 47 degrees Celsius? Jesus. Well then. Uh, Jesus, it's toasty. Uh, so Yufa wants to talk to us today. I really do want to speak to Yufa, Hulkenberg, all these people. At the same time, though, I don't want to start these ranks if I can get away with it. Because I would like to finish some of these up, just so I can, like, kind of tick them off my box. So I think we'll do Barden. We'll do Hulkenberg, I suppose. It's been quite a while since we talked to Hulkenberg, so if you need a reminder what it was, uh, she wants to challenge her ex-buddy to a duel. And I don't really think it's a particularly fantastic idea, and she's like, oh, well, you better be wise. Listen! Heed my words. <laughs> Eight people? Wait. 
God damn, this guy's just killing people left and right. <laughs> this guy is such a dick. It's like, you know how there's some characters with zero redeeming values? This is one of those guys. Now then. He's got the power of the king. Yeah, fuck this guy up. Kill him. I don't even give a shit. Is that a parapist, a part of the knighthood? I don't, I don't think people are gonna like that. They'll get over it, though. My word. They'll get over it. Oh, the Shadow Guard, that's right, the thing Heisme was part of. True. True, true, that makes sense. My thanks. She. Ooh, next level of uh, Hulkenberg's uh, mage thing. Excellent. Alright, let's see what it is. What's the level three? Yes. Paladin and Dark Knight. Ah, cool. Oh shit, top 10. Top 10, baby. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in what I said, by the way. I think if you do every single social link, I mean bonds in the game, that's gonna get you uh, probably to popularity rank 1. <laughs> let's take a look at those archetypes, shall we? I like, I really like the archetype system. So, let's see. Dark Knight. While focusing on offense, it can defend in unique ways. And Paladin. Alright, so look at Paladin first. Okay, Knight's Defense, Protect Guard, Counter, Emergency Aid, Holy Knight's Works, Revitalize. Uh, doesn't really seem that great. I don't know. Doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't really seem fantastic. This is, I like the Counter. I definitely like Counter. I like Protect Guard too, but this is like a real support class. These are some interesting synthesis uh, classes, uh, synthesis skills though, like Crusader's Hammer, Peerless Sanctity. I like, I like this a lot. Holy shit! Wait, this is with. Oh, it's a level three synthesis. Okay, that makes sense. I was about to say, like, this is a level two synthesis. That seems really broken. Line Guard is pretty good too, and so is ma uh, Magic Guard. Yeah, I mean, it's tempting, right? It really is tempting. Then we have a Dark Knight, Magic Counter, Mad Rush, Flawless, Pierce Boost, Instant Recovery, and Thunderstrike Thrust. I think those are better, but what about the synthesis? Yeah, so f far fewer synthesis skills. It's, my, it's more focused on a magic, uh, more focused on a damage dealer type thing. So, severe physical damage, and yeah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's a tough one, it's a tough one. Uh, I don't have to make a decision right now, but that's good to know. I think I'd actually try to... Maybe I should make Hulkenberg into a Paladin. Paladin seems like... Kind of like it makes sense, right? I could also make Stroll into a Paladin because I was kind of making him into a Magic Knight anyway. He's only five levels away. To be fair, the Dark Knight it requires Wizard, and this one only requires Magic Knight, but I actually think... I think with the way I'm going, because I kind of am the magic damage dealer of the team, I think I'd rather go with Paladin, honestly. I think Paladin makes more sense for me. Anyway, we can decide on that later. Let's, uh, actually we have a reportable quest. I assume that's Norris? Yeah, it's Norris. But I would like to hang out with Heisman in the meantime, because I want to kind of get him to 8 so I can get his next lineage. So we haven't done Heisman's bond in a while, but we were trying to find a resting place for his son with the urn. So it sounds like we're going back to the village. Ooh. He found it. He found it. 
Good old, good old Heisman. I like Heisman. I've said I, I've said I like Heisman multiple times, but I think he has. He's definitely one of the more unique party members. I think Stroll and Hulkenberg are great too, and I think you know Dark Juna Yufa, obviously, but he probably has the most like destitute storyline, just straight up like depression in essence. However, for our future. Uh, Heisman level 6 is good because we get Battle Hypnosis, which is more XP when he's in reserve. I preferably, you'd like everybody to be at level 6, just so you can get that bonus XP. But uh, obviously that's kind of like, not realistic, so... Alrighty, so Maria wants to talk to me. Uh, I do want to get Maria to level 8, that'd be really nice. So let's go see her, shall we? She's just out here in the rain! What the fuck? Get her an umbrella or something, this place looks depressing as hell, by the way. Eat up, you two. It smells good, doesn't it? Hope you like it. This dish has some complexity to it. There's more than enough for everyone. Um, I was thinking maybe it would be good if I gave some of Miss Fabian's food to hungry people. Everyone's scared of people they don't understand or don't know. That's why they were mean to me too. So maybe if we get everyone to eat lots of good food together, they'll talk to each other and get along. I'd like to help, too. What can I do? Oh, thank you. Um, can you serve the food? Now hold on. Let's not be hasty about inviting those sorts in, hmm? What if they make a habit of skulking around here? <sighs> well, take a look yourself before you start clutching your pearls. Not a single one has even taken a plate, as you can plainly see. I need to warn you, ma'am. Even if you demand compensation later, I've naught to give you. And I'm telling you, I don't need any. Maria and I just don't want you dying of hunger. After all, we're neighbors. And I won't ignore any of you any longer. Truth be told, I turned a blind eye to your plight. But Maria saw it plain, and my eyes were opened. And I realized that it isn't right. It's not all right at all. So... Go ahead and eat your fill. You've my word. There are no tricks here. I have a portion for you as well. Surely you've heard whispers about the honeybees' fair now, haven't you? Hmm. Is it true that you ran your own business? Yes, ma'am. At one point, I owned a factory and had several hired hands in my employ. But then... I was swindled by a moneylender. I'd like to work my way up again. Or even earn just enough to put a roof over my head. But once you've lost your footing, it's hard to stand back up on your own. Hey, perhaps you could find a place that will put him to work. I've heard you're well connected around these parts. I'll consider it. <gasps> oh, he's here. You should try Miss Fabian's cooking. It's really good. Why? Because eating yummy food makes everyone happy. And when my friends are happy, I'm happy too. We're friends. But you're normal, and I'm... I'm not. I've been thinking about a whole lot of things lately. And we did this today because I met you. Talking to people makes things better. It makes it so even things that were sad feel a little brighter. It's like a light in the dark all of a sudden. Or actually, it's more like you see it was never dark to begin with. I want everyone to know that. <sighs> I'm Maria. What's your name? It's... Apus. I couldn't even remember my own name. Nice to meet you, Apis. So, um, do you think anything around here has changed? Maybe for the better? I'm not sure, but it does feel a little different, yeah. There's 2B again. It literally is 2B. Like, <laughs> must be like a running joke at Atlas or something. Do you want to come eat with us? Oh, 
Everyone looks so happy. Miss Fabian said she wanted to try doing that again. She even wants to get some of the townspeople to help out too. You'll always have my support. You'll help us serve food again, right, mister? Me and Aethys are friends now too. We're going to go play with Harundo and the others too next time. It sounds like you're making plenty of friends. Yep, it's a lot of fun. You know, all of these good things happen because of you, mister. You gave me those pictures of your journey, remember? When I look at these pictures, I imagine your voice in my head saying, Just do your best. <laughs> Is that what I sound like? Is that what I sound like? I like it when you're here, and sometimes I'm still lonely when you're not around, but I'm not going to ask you not to go. Is that because you have a home now? I used to want to run away from Grand Trad so badly. I didn't feel at home here. So I thought there was someplace else I should go to. I wanted Miss Fabian to like me so much. But the more important thing really was if I liked Miss Fabian. When I realized that, I learned that I can pick where my home is. I can choose where I belong. And right now, I've picked this place. This is my home. I'll wait here with Miss Fabian, so... Can't die, okay? So please come back. I promise you I'll come back, Maria. Remember, it's a promise. Okay, wait a second. No way the protagonist dies in this game, right? Holy shit, that please don't do that. The pure hearted maiden, Maria, keeper and heritor of the healer's virtues. Your tempered bond has become a fire forged trust. Thus, a new pinnacle of heroism. Awakens within thee by the grace of her newfound powers. Work to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. Max rank, excellence. Now study the savior. Oh shit, cool. Yeah, I know I said I was gonna step back from cleric, but I kind of want to make stroll. I mean, I might as well make him a savior, right? It's a level three. Pretty, uh, pretty sick. If you don't come back on your own, I'll find you and bring you back. I still dream about going on a journey one day. To all sorts of faraway places. I'll even go to where Papa never went to. I'll see those places for him. And then it'll be my turn to tell you all about my journey. Do the two of you have a moment? Lend me a hand with the inn, will you? Okay, coming! Let's go! That was, such, that was so good, that was so good, fuck. Uh, oh, we got, got some uh, extra support too. Top 9, nice. Yeah, so like I said, if I get all the bonds to max, it probably gets me to 1. Which means my face should be on the billboard case. pretty soon. Alright then. Where's my face? Oh. Yeah, I know Forden and Louis. Wait, Rudolph? Rudolph is the top in top 10? How am I nowhere near the top? I'm number 9. I mean, like what? Do I need to be top 3? Alright, here's the savior. It learns the strongest healing and light magic. It's no longer weak to strike. Wow, that's pretty fantastic. It is weak to dark, though. So, Hamadine, Hamadine, Medical, Pen Petra. Pen Petra's good. Exorcist Light, Potrocarm. Oh, allows one ally to endure one fatal attack per battle. Then we have Divine Punishment, Mohammedine, Magical Injection, Godly Blessing. Okay, I think I actually will make Stroll into one of these. Fuck it. It kind of seems like one of those things, like, you might as well do it, so... Of course. Yeah. Stroll, how could you fuck that up? Now it seems stupid for you to be a healer. Ah. 
Why are you like this? Why are you like this troll? Alright. Alrighty, we have another uh, relic for Norse to take a look at, so let's give this uh -huh. to him. There you go, Norse. Alright. Uh, Hero's Fruit. Cool. Thank you. Alright, it's level 5. The start battle on the Gauntlet Gunner deck. Enemies take even more damage. And Gunner Veneration. I was kind of hoping Newer should have a different skill. I don't think Bombastic... I don't think, like, the Bombardier stuff is that, that like, relevance. Like, when you think about how many fights you have on the on the Gauntlet Runner, you probably have, like... We've had, like, what? Maybe, like, 15? Compared to dungeons where, like, you'll have, like, thousands. Okay, got another relic. I'm at, probably when we find all the relics is when we'll unlock the final archetype for his uh, lineage. That'll be a pretty interesting moment because, like I said, it looks like an Evangelion mech. Alrighty, four more days until we depart from Virga Island, so I thought it'd be a good time to go see Barden because he, he's at level 5, and like I said, I want to get some of these um, wrapped up to level 8 if possible. All right. Actually, I like Barden's skills too because they're all about like battle mechanics and battle tactics. He lost? Oh shit. Seriously. <laughs> it's, it's so funny with the election coming up in a few days, the American election. It's like it's kinda like a look into what will probably happen. Please, let's not lose our heads. Yeah, let the yeah, let the new guy handle it, Lord Gastro. Whoa. Are we gonna fight are we gonna face a enemy? That'd be kinda sick. I could use the XP. Yeah, don't abandon the Barden. Come on. Come on, be the bigger man. You're a big guy. I see. Wait, that was the whole- that was the whole bond? Oh, okay. I shall bar his meddling with Martira. Have's the turn icon is switching with a reserve member drinks. That's actually a- that's actually a super good, uh, super good skill because I've been switching party members quite often and I think the game really rewards that. Just keeping lots of different archetypes available for whatever you face. Oh my god, it's an actual quest too. Perfect. Alright, and it increases courage. Nice. I thank you. Gives, uh, gives us something to do. Excellent. I guess this is the- it's funny because Barden didn't have a royal virtue skill check, so I guess this is the, uh... This is their substitute for that in a way, because most, uh, Bonds don't have quest lines. Mm. Alrighty, so we'll do that tomorrow, but for now let's hang out with Heisme some more, because we're pretty close to getting him to level 7, and I think that should give us the assassin lineage, or the super assassin, whatever it's called, That's so... Why. I may switch- I'm probably gonna switch Heisme back to- oh, nice. Here's a skill check, and I already have it. But yeah, I'm probably gonna make Heisme an assassin again, just because, uh, I'll talk about this later, but there's a skill in the assassin tree which is so, so good. It's so good, and will definitely help with battles. Everyone! No. He's literally talking to a Ujeef and you're calling him an outsider. That's life. Surely. Thank you. Heisme the goat. <laughs> Heisme is so, such a great character. He. Oh? Also have level 3 of the thief? No. That's always nice too. Alrighty, rank 7. Ninja. Ninja. 
Perfect. Actually, this will give me time to show off the skill I was talking about, and it's why I'm going to make Hazme into a ninja almost immediately. Alright, so here's uh, the ninja. Ninja starts with ha Hazy Moon Nightblade, which is, uh, okay. This actually probably goes well with Mass Dancer because of the uh, ailment thing. We also have Agitator's Arts, which is an ailment, so I suppose. Uh, Adam and Nightblade, Quick Change Arts. Nullifies one slash Pierce Strike attack for the caster. That actually is really good because it can end turns super quick, but what I want most is this. When attacked, halves attacking enemies hit rate. So if you combine this with some of the skills we have that increase Heisman's agility, he will never get hit, ever. And that's really good, that pretty much means less turns for the enemies to get off on us, and ending battles all the quicker. 22,000 mag, pretty expensive, but obviously worth it. I'm counting on you. Hmm. The ninja. And we will make him into a ninja too. Just because, and I guess we can inher inherit some skills too. Alright, let's take Shadow Dwellers, increase evasion by 5%. And because we're the thief lineage, I think this will actually be 15%. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's quite an expensive skill, but obviously for good reason. And also, I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take... Probably Wild Salvo. No, Smashing Salvo. Alright. Just because I want some pierce damage, kind of like the gunner. And finally, I will take, uh, let's see. Aim support's always good, but I think we don't need that. I think I'd rather take either electric dodge or pierce dodge. Electric dodge. Yeah, electric right. dodge. Because uh, Heisman is inherently weak to electric as a ninja, for whatever reason. I don't know why ninjas are weak to electricity. And this is a pretty good team, or this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good archetype. I wish I could check the agility, like I almost wish there was this thing that showed the hit hit chance, but rest assured it's pretty high. And I leveled him up to 20, we're using the uh, consumables, so we have third eye now, which is amazing. And because he mastered it, I think he gets more agility, yeah, he gets four, plus four agility, so. Aizme is going to be impossible to kill, I'd be very surprised if anybody ever got an attack off him. I guess, I guess it's more accurate to say an attack that, like, consecutive attacks. Alrighty, so in terms of people who want to hang out with me today, uh, it looks like it's only Yufa. Not Hulkenberg, why not? All right. Uh, okay, she doesn't want to talk though. Alright, that's fair. I probably need 5 wisdom for her or something like that, so... That's fine with me, we can start the Yufa conversation. I like Yufa. Alright, so let's go to Brylehaven with Yufa. I'm very happy. Very happy, yeah, good. your ass up, bitch. What the hell? Ain't nobody's buying your skanky food anyway. You know what's weird? I'm not- I, I like- I, I kind of thought I'd like cringe having to look at her third eye all the time, but I, it's really not that bad. It's not like something that creeps, creeps me out or like turns me off or anything. Can I interest you in sancticism? Looks like indoctrination. Not to be like, kind of like bad or anything. Thank you greatly. You can't chant my name while I sleep. Wait, what? They're really, they're really like trying to throw the Yufa and protagonist thing together, aren't they? I kind of like it. I kind of like the ship. I don't think the Juna protagonist is a good ship. And it really kills me to say that, by the way, but I just don't think Juna, like, wants a romance of any type. I lived with such fear. Reduces the chance of the party being afflicted with anxiety. Whoa. Pretty good. 
Alrighty, three days until we depart from Virga Island. Let's go see Juna, shall we? She's the only one we can talk to, to be fair, but, uh... Yeah, speaking of Juna, I know I was just kind of like shit-talking her a second ago, but... Let's, uh, go see her. Oh, Captain, my Captain. It's it's weird, I talked about liking Verka Island the best, but I probably like Brawlhaven more. Just because it's kind of, like, unique. I keep reading that as NVIDIA. I need to... I need to get some help. It's just a, it's a really unique word. Nidia. Oi. Hey, there she is! There's the songstress. Is this gonna turn into like a ugly bastard thing? <sighs> I'm sorry. Right. Thank you. So Juno's whole quest line is just gonna be taking her around like an escort. I can dig it. <laughs> I can dig it. After battle, all party members recover low MP. Oh, wow. These are some really nice skills, I have to say. That and the anxiety one are quite helpful. Alright, so we have nothing to do today, which means it is a perfect uh, time to do the barding quest, which is the right to rule. And this is located... Where is this located? Near Martira. Okay, so let me take a look at the Martira map. Okay, so we have to go with, uh, we pretty much treat this like a quest, so we have to go with Barden, or treat it like a bond, so. Oh, thank you. Alright, Barden, take us there, and we shall deal with your little sandworm. I can't imagine this will be that difficult. That's, uh, nah, that's pretty disgusting, I have to say. Whoa. Okay, thanks. Remember when we had to go out through its guts? Level 60? Oh fuck. Oh shit, this is... This actually might be a tougher fight than I expected. So, uh, yeah, no idea what this thing is weak to. Absolutely none. So I guess we'll just start uh, buffing ourselves. Right, let's try this new skill, Adamant Nightblade. By the way, it doesn't have any items to steal, by the way. I, d I tried, <laughs> so... Okay, that's not that much damage. We should be fine, probably. Unless this is a crazy ability of some type. Nope, miss. Get missed, bitch. Okay, found its weakness. It's weak to light, or weak to ice damage. Uh, I want to switch out my teammates. I don't want Stroll in this fight. I want someone with more magic damage to be in this fight. Let's take... I think it's a good idea to take uh, Juno. I'll withdraw for the... Deals extreme magic damage to one enemy. Well, that's kind of what we're here for, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of the thing we're here for. That didn't do as much damage as I would have liked it to do, but that's fine. I can't. Uh, Vegas can't be chooses. You know what I mean? Really? We had a miss. Oh fuck. Oh, but the block, the block actually negated everything. Nice. You look like you're about to drop. Yeah, she's about to drop because this is a tough fucking fight. That's why. Good dodge, Heisman. Very good dodge. It's actually, it's pretty good that I got this leveled up before I did this fight because I think if I did this without the assassin or without the ninja, it'd be, uh, I don't think it'd be going too well. You know what I mean? What? That was a shit miss. Holy fuck. 
That's with the synthesis but What? Oh my god, how did that happen? Heisman's evasion is so busted. I'm so glad that it's coming to fruition and pretty much doing exactly what I said it was going to do. Makes me feel good about myself that I'm not complete, you know, like just all talk. See, look at that. Even though even though he's gained the weakness on uh, Juna, Heisman has the block thing so that it just makes it completely void, which is great. Also, that skill, uh, we'll get to it eventually. Actually, I'll just show it right now. This skill is only... Uh, 5 MP for a nullify. That's so busted. I'm sorry. That is so busted. What's that? Wait, what? Wait, what? I was just about to kill this thing. What's that? Oh, God. Oh, God. That's bad. I don't, I don't like that. I feel like this is going to be a guaranteed mess. Okay. Oh, God. What? How much damage is that going to do? Oh, that's like nothing. Oh shit, okay, I was expecting some crazy attack. Alright, this thing's dead. Yeah, that thing was really tanky, but it just it didn't do any damage. Not 8, 8800 XP, oh wow. Fancy, fancy. Sick animation. Barden, speak to me. Listen. I thank you. All right, right to rule. Got some courage from that too, which is good, and probably probably the next All bond, right. right? Hopefully. I mean, it seemed like a bond. It seemed like a pretty bonding moment, if you ask me. Yeah, but it doesn't- it doesn't count for the Sanctus Church. It only counts for everybody else. I fucking hate the church. In this game. <laughs> Such a great relief. I managed to save the Weons, Harry. I like Barden. I like all the characters. There's not one character where I kind of feel like iffy on, or I'm just like... Yeah, I just don't like this character. And Escape Master is always good to have because, you know, there's been times in the past where I wanted to escape, which we all remember, and I got completely fucked. Alright, so it's night time and I wanted to go see Alonzo, but apparently my courage isn't high enough. <laughs> I actually don't think I need to level up my courage because something tells me there's going to be a few more bounties to get, and that's a passive way to get your courage up, so I think I'd rather focus on... What should I focus on? Let's focus on... Uh, wait a second. I do not recognize this shop owner right here. Hello, who are you? Uh, this person sells. Uh, they sell one-offs. Okay, so nothing super interesting. Able to perform two consecutive actions. Uh, I haven't thought of a good use for that, but... I Actually, you know what a really good use for this would be? On Hulkenberg, Vigor, a move to the front row, and then... Defense move to the back row, so it's, pr it's pretty much like you go to the front row, you go to the back row, you get plus attack plus defense before a turn. I can see that being pretty good, actually. In fact, I can see it being so good, I think I'll buy one. Sure. Uh, I'm not gonna equip it on her, though? Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so the, la the lance will be ready tomorrow, so I we'll only have one more day on the Virga Islands. Fidelio's been on the men for a while, and the man's like, he should be well rested. I still think Fidelio is going to be the final uh, companion. It's probably going to be one of these things that, uh, uh, not Fidelio, what's his name? Basilio. Basilio is going to die or something, or die, like, yeah. Basilio is going to die and Fidelio is going to get, like, really, really enamored or something. I, I bet even Luis will kill Basilio, for all I know. Alright, so today's the last day we can right. do anything. Uh, let's see, we can buy some stuff. There's nothing really I need to buy, but I will hang out with Yufa. Probably, maybe not go to Bra go to Brawlhaven again. All right, so we're gonna keep going to Brawlhaven. It's probably gonna be about the church. That seems to be the the common uh the common traits among this quest line. Well, now, um, you know, and so now. 
Oh, uh, yeah. God. <laughs> Sancticism. Hey, bro, you want to become a Sanctus? <laughs> Con con converp converp. <laughs> Yufa, please never convert. I would. R I'd rather be a part of the Dragon God faith. Um, Even though the villagers are kind of crazy. Oh. Nothing more than a breeze, bro. That shit was loud as hell. I can hear. It's literally the Ujif's mom is like upset or like dying. See you later. See you later. Alright, so we got Battle Aura for Yufa. Uh, it's good, but it's not great. Obviously, you want the one at level 6, because the one at level 6 means you don't. There's no debuff for the XP. What's up, Del? Something on your mind? Hmm? That's nothing. Just thinking. Oh no. You're not still feeling unwell, are you? It's just the twins now, that's all. I'm sharp as ever, me. You sure? Because I remember, once the big fever passed, you went hot and cold again a couple more times. I've never seen you go down like that. I said I'm fine, didn't I? God, but you don't worry too much. Come on, I'm starving. Something's bothering me. Really? He seemed pretty healthy to me. Just a bad feeling, I suppose. It was a human that wounded him. Hard to say whether the Magla might have any nasty side effects. You know, you mean he may need magic healing? I don't know if we're gonna find that here on the island. Hey, is there any way we could get Rella to take a look at him? Magla-born symptoms can take a turn for the worse incredibly fast, no matter how healthy you are. I'd rather not let it fester. Huh. Well, we do claim to help anyone in need, eh? But don't forget that we're fighting a battle. And if you cannot distinguish friend and foe on the battlefield, it will be your end. I know you're right. But I get the feeling those two are telling themselves the same thing. What if, now, what, 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 what if, instead of speeding to her doorstep, we ask her saintliness to come here? It'll just take a bit of conspiring to get our story straight. I mean, I, I, I'm not normally a chap to take sides in this sort of thing, but those two hardly strike me as the evil type. Look, Captain, I wouldn't feel right ignoring this. Will you please go to the royal capital for me? No problem. I'll go. I knew you'd say that. Well, if Rella's coming here, I guess it won't be that much trouble. Thanks. I remember I called you too soft once. I see now I was wrong. If that's sorted, let's get it done sharpish before any complications crop up. for your help leading the evacuation. They tell me not everyone got a chance to thank you. So on their behalf... Don't worry about it. Didn't want the annihilation of a whole village on my conscience is all. Wasn't expecting you to handle the evacuation side, Del. Thought for sure you'd be the first in the fray with the human. They healed me up. Gotta repay the favor, don't I? I wouldn't feel right otherwise. And then for their sake, you should take care of yourself, too. What? Who the hell? No way. Aren't you St. Rella? <laughs> okay, that was funny. I don't know why that made me laugh so much. It was just like... What? Who the hell? What? You're joking. You're not joking. Why is she here? I called for her, and she came. You that surprised? I know people in the Crown Theocracy. My work speaks for itself these days. It's almost time for the Saints' Day festivities in Montario. Having been invited, I was in the area. 
I heard about your splendid work, Fidelio and Basilio. I hardly recognize the two of you. You remember us? Of course. This is a bit of a reversal, though. Back then, it was you helping treat Basilio's wound. I can tell how far you've come since then. Ugh. But I've also heard about your own injury. Your right foot, I'm guessing. Have you felt any sudden fevers come on? Let me have a look. Yes, that should do. I can see you had an expert looking after you already. Physically, you're as well as anyone could ask. But... Fidelio, is there something you feel lost or anxious about? Where's that coming from? I've talked to lots of people and observed the flow of their magic. By now, I'm certain that Magna is connected to our emotions. When I speak to someone who's feeling strong emotions, I can sense the state of their heart as if seeing it with my own eyes. Nah, I'm sound. Nothing's getting me down. I see. Then you should be fine. Just don't take life for granted, or your treatment will have been for nothing. Keep on living, all right? For now, let's see. Run to the beach and back with Basilio. If you can make it without slowing down, then clearly there's nothing wrong with your foot. Hey, sounds like a laugh. Just like when we were kids. Step lively, Del, or I'll leave you behind. Hey, what the hell? I said I'm fine. Oh, damn it. Basilio, hang on. Thanks, Rella. When you told me about the first time you'd saved someone's life, I didn't realize you were talking about them. You're in Luis's entourage now. Yet you needed our stories to match in front of the brothers. You're swimming in dangerous waters, aren't you? Not just that. You've got a gauntlet runner that can teleport across the land and an elder captain who wields it through magic. That's a lot to take in. Well, uh, how do I put this? I didn't realize it when I met you before, but you're already one of the top candidates. I saw the King's Rock. Are you? Intending to confront Louise. Yes. That's right. Well, there you have it. So you are committed to this path, no matter what. <laughs> I knew this day might come. It's not my place to stop you. Come now. Do you have to be so bleak? I've already spent my fair share of time with Louise, you know. Don't underestimate Louise. As far as the Crown Theocracy knows, the King's magic will protect the highest candidates from any harm. And they think that guarantees their safety at the festival. But I've done my research. Some attacks the barrier can't stop. I believe the magic only prevents underhanded approaches, like ambush. So there's a loophole. It's not widely known, but take a duel, for instance. Both parties identify themselves, fight with consent, and the magic won't protect them, no matter their standing. But if you just have to identify yourself and agree to fight... Oh, was that why the battle with Gladell? Suffice it to say, the King's Shield is not perfect, and Luis will surely exploit that. I have a terrible feeling there will be bloodshed before Saint's Day is over. I won't try to stop you, but... Be careful down the road, all right? I'll protect Juna. I promise. But where is this coming from? Honestly. Honestly, mate. Why are you simping? Then please, look after Juna. Ugh. You do know I'm not a child anymore. Keep up, Del. Gotta be faster than that. You springy old bastard, you've got the height advantage. Damn it. You haven't won yet. <laughs> I suppose we'll have to leave it there. Yeah, so my theory is Luis is gonna kill Forden, probably uh, other members of the church, and he'll take first place and I'll go to like third or second maybe. That's my theory, and by the way, I am so down for that. <laughs> Nothing like sounding like a psychopath, but still. Can't deny it this time though. You lot did fantastic. And Lady Juna's safe too. 
I owe you thanks for that, if nothing else. The islanders gave us a map of the east side of the island. Their way of thanking us, I suppose. You're welcome to it, if you don't waste it. See? Old Del's great at looking after people. He saved loads of them in the evacuations. Oh, bell top, would you? Been meaning to ask. That's a book, yeah? Didn't take you for a book reader. Lord Luis likes them, though. Often got his head buried in one. By the way, doesn't Louis... Uh, Lord Luis have this same book? I hear it's been banned. How should we know? Not like we grew up round books. People barely literate nowadays, frankly. So, what's it say? As long as we're killing time anyhow, let me see it. In this world, one can become anything they desire. Neither birth nor status decides your occupation. Huh, sounds grand, that. You think this place really exists? Of course not, you muppet. It's a fantasy, remember? Anyone is free to become anything. This is a paradise of equality and freedom, devoid of discrimination or prejudice. Pretty words, then. But if everybody's free to do what they want, they'll work out their own reasons to be prejudiced. You can call it a utopia, but I reckon people living in it might romanticize our world, too. So well said, holy fuck. That's, you know, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's, it's the grass is always greener analogy. At the end of the day, dreaming of escape will only ever be a dream. Nothing changes unless you do it with your own hands. Aye. But if we really could do anything, I quite fancy opening up a little diner with you, Del. You like singing, eh? And I'm dead handy with a cook pan. We could invite Lady Juna over. Host a fancy soiree of our own. Every night, just us and our best mates living it up. You telling me you don't like the sound of that? Get your head out of the clouds, Baz. We're long past being able to get away with that. Doesn't matter anyway. The dream is just a dream. Alrighty, today's the day we leave the islands. I liked my stay at Virga Islands. I like the quest. I like the people. I like Yufa. Still good. Still good. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 what? Is this a... Oh, God. This isn't a request, is it? Or this isn't, like, a decision I have to make. I have to choose who I'm gonna go to this festival with? Oh, fuck. Didn't expect them to throw such a party before our departure. A far cry from our first night here in a cell. I hear it is a festival in the Dragon God's name, meant to ensure a safe sea voyage. In place of a lighthouse, their fire is kept burning until the morning. I say, these locals are badly well informed. They're up to their gills in practical and theoretical magma theory. Not as focused on the mechanicals as us mainlanders, but the land's far from barbaric. Their insights could rather improve the runner's design, you know? Ah. Speaking of, I finished with the Lance replica. We're finally ready. Woo! Grand, ain't it? Del's all better. And we've got some choice souvenirs to bring back to Lord Luis. We're not out of the woods yet. Don't be too quick to celebrate. Hey, come on, lads, loosen up. It's a party. We've all had a little fun. And you? What's a sanctist fat cat like you doing getting all giddy over a pagan festival? I have to laugh, don't I? <sighs> you know, I thought the crier's life had made me pretty knowledgeable about our world, but turns out most of what I knew was lies. Makes me think, maybe this is how my old father felt. Crier of family trade, eh? Imagine that. <laughs> the Crown Theocracy does love their hereditary titles. Yeah. My old man was a serious fella. More than me, that's for sure. He called out corruption where he saw it. it. Made him a pariah. But there you go. Yeah, I remember he once flat out suggested igniters were more dangerous than the Crown Theocracy was letting on. And there was that riot in the slums. Of course, the, the one started by that parapus. The church dismissed it as paupers revolting over their conditions. But my old man... 
Well, he said it wasn't a riot at all. Outright accused the Crown Theocracy of turning an innocent parapus feral through horrific magic experiments. What? Mm, who knows what really happened there? Either way, nobody took my father seriously. He was condemned as a liar. And he died young. Just the way it is, I suppose. People will always prefer their own feelings to the truth. Happiness is a luxury hard to come by otherwise. Hmm. Hard to care about the world after that. I was a poor excuse for a crier, if you ask me. <laughs> Yet, here I am. It's beyond weird. <laughs> Somehow, you lot have managed to make the world seem interesting again. <laughs> I'm genuinely grateful, you know? It makes a man feel as if he owes you. You owe us nothing. Can't afford any rumors about you being biased in our favor, anyway. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Honestly though, you need anything. You've got me on your side. I'll do what I can. For now, I'll catch a boat ride to Altabri ahead of you. Once this festival's over, it'll be farewell for the moment. So, let's make this a bash to remember. You're running into the fire? Now, time for some fun. Bring out the treats! <laughs> and those are? The fruit is called Dragon's Tears. They're quite precious. Their tree only bears once every few years. Ah, tis delicious. Beyond delicious. Wonderful. This again. Hulkenberg's tastes are a dubious <laughs> metric at best. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Please, it's the rarest of harvests, and we would like to share it with you. Sounds. I feel quite... Quite... Uh... Right? Right? <laughs> What's going on? There's something odd about the way those two are laughing. <coughs> but he's crying. What is this fruit? You see, in all times, so long times ago, times people ate this to reach a higher plane of exist existence and talk to the gods. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta tell me more about this fruit. What kind of fruit is this? Yes, you certainly appear to have reached some higher state. Glad I passed. Phew, finally back to normal. Well, that sure felt like a festival. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, and did you hear? The people of this island make a wish over that flame. It's said that if you write your wish on a piece of paper, it'll bring you good luck. You don't often get to relax like this. So why don't you go there with someone? Okay, who am I going with? Have you decided on someone? Stroll, Hulkenberg. Okay, there's a lot of choices here. Alright, let's just be honest here. It's probably going to be between two people. Uh, Alright, uh, I have to really think about this. Let's do... I feel like Yufa's the good choice. I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, yeah, isn't Yufa the good choice here? Like, it, it feels appropriate, it's her own island. It's not even voice acted. Oh. I beg your pardon. Oh, hold on. In truth. That was a great help. Uh... Indeed. One shot kill? What? <laughs> it 
it's all right. That reminds me of a. Uh, that reminds me of a thing they do in Yavle. The uh, the goats, the flaming goats. Yavle, Sweden. Sure. Yeah, I really, I really like my time on this island. I'm for islands, grateful. it's a cool place. Honestly. Truly. No, that's not what I meant. Yeah, I get the feeling there's no romance in this game. It's probably a good thing. It'd be kind of like out of place seeing how we're all working towards a goal that's like pretty dire. I kind of like that. It's almost like I feel like if you shoehorned romance into this, it'd be weird. Actually, <laughs> dancing. Crossier. Oh, nice. So I guess whoever you hang out with gives you an item for their probably their lineage, if I had to guess. Tell, you hear all that? What that cry was talking about? Yeah, sounded proper familiar to me. It's easy to blame the Sanctus Church for the whole thing, but maybe not all of them were happy about it. Makes you think. I remember St. Rella looked like her heart was breaking, seeing us at death's door. Maybe... Maybe she knew what was going on. Hmm. Del. What do we believe in, really? Are we absolutely positive that... You know, Count Luisa's vision and ours have enough in common? I thought we were done talking about this. He's the reason we got this far. A couple of parapus orphans. Nobody else wants us. Nobody cares about us. We'd be nothing without Count Luis. I know, Tell, but... He makes all them speeches about equality, but in the end... He's gonna leave the weak to die. I heard him talk about his ideal world and... It sounds like a world where we'd have died alone in the dirt. No Saint Rella to save us. Is that what we're fighting for? Too late for that kind of talk, brother. Blood on our hands either way. Hey! What are you two doing on your own? Come join the party! You'll miss the whole festival! Lady Juna. What's that look about? I know you're absolutely smitten with me, love, but you needn't be so tense about it. Do you plan to kill Count Luis? What are you talking about? He can't be killed anyway. Lady Juna, I don't think your heart is with Count Luis anymore. Or maybe it never was. There's a side of you that you only show them. But us? I'm starting to think we've never seen the real you. Are you really so worried for Count Luis? He's the one who measures worth in power. So what would he think to hear you underestimating him? So you don't actually work for Forden or nothing then? No ulterior motives? I've been with Count Luis since before the race even started, haven't I? Ever since he was stripped of command. Hey, Del. I'm sorry if I made you worry. That's my fault. But trust me on this. I promise I'll make sure this world's got more to give you two than despair. I saw it with my own eyes. That lance gets past the king's magic. That means it can kill a candidate. They were testing it among themselves, and Lady Juna was right there with them. You serious? How are we supposed to report that to Count Luis? Oh, don't worry, it's my own problem. I told you to leave the thinking to me. <sighs> you know what I... I really like Lady Juna's songs, and I like seeing you listening to her when you get the chance. You've got arm around your heart, Del, and her music pierces it. <clears throat> I... 
I don't want to kill Lady Juna. And you don't either, Del. Do you? Hmm. Well, that got dark. That got dark as hell. Uh, tomorrow is the big day. The big Louis day. Let's actually, let's take a look at that uh, thing that uh, Yufa gave us for herself. Dancing crochet. Small MP recovery every turn in battle. That's nice. And it is far better an item. Well, not far better, but it's it's fancy, okay? It's legendary. <laughs> it's a legendary, so of course I'm going to like it more. All right, then. All right, is there anything I need to do before going to the Gauntlet Runner? I don't think so. Pretty much bought everything I need, so let's just uh, let's, go. let's get out of here, innit? Let's go see Cat Luis and I guess confront him, which I'm not particularly entranced about that idea so early on, seeing how I'm only level 50. I get the feeling Lord Louis, Luis is gonna be like 80. Looks like the sea settled somewhat. We've got a map of the Alterberry region too. I'd say we're set. Now we can leave with our minds clear and pockets full, eh? Where are those brothers? Out on errands? I say we just leave them behind. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Well, long as we've got a minute alone, let's go over our plan. As soon as we get to Alterbury, we give Luis the fake lance Nurus made up for us. While I hold on to the real one. Then, on the eve of this divine relic dedication ceremony, we use the real lance to end this. Once and for all. He doesn't know we've worked out its powers. We'll use that to our advantage. Juna, we'll need you to convince Luis to attend the eve of the festival. Oh, I've been pestering him to do so for a while now. Don't want him spending the evening in his heavily fortified Skyrunner, after all. So where is the false lance in question? Right here. Ready to poke an eye out. <laughs> oh, what do you think? A dead ringer, eh? Such detail. Even I can't tell them apart. When we get to Alterbury, we'll pass off the fake to Luis. Then, we execute our plan. Oh, by the way, I was talking with the Magnus brothers earlier. I think they might be on to us. <sighs> That's not good. We'll need to be more careful. Wait, footsteps. Speak of the devils. We'll need to hide the real lance. You're late. We were about to leave you behind. <laughs> right. All present and counted. Anchors away, what? Aye, aye, me hearties. Uh, what's wrong, then? Is that not the customary exclamation of sailors? Mr. Batlin was very specific. I wouldn't believe everything he says. Tis a strange melancholy. Leaving the people we have so recently come to know. We'll be back. With some fantastic tales to tell them, too. Yes. Certainly. Hmm. This is Alteberry Heights. We'll make faster progress back on land. Oh, uh, that stupid name I was talking about. I hate that name. It looks like it's gonna be a nice little forest, though. Nice little snow? Oh this shit, it's gonna be here. snowing. Ah, cool. So where's the final area you're gonna be? Probably up here somewhere? Or those are probably areas to explore. Alrighty, and I see there's some landmarks on the way. Quite a few, actually. Alta Berly Heights. Alrighty. Let's leave our beautiful island paradise for Alterbury. I'm just gonna call it Alterbury. I'm not calling it Alterbury Heights. Heights is stupid. Alrighty, now seems like a good time to hang out with Hulkenberg. What's up, Basilio? Maybe Basilio is going to be the final uh, final companion. He's a tall guy. Alrighty, so wisdom. Yes, let's do some battle strategies. All right. Hmm. All right. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, going from 40 to, I don't know, if it's snowing, it's probably, like, negative, so. That's gonna be quite the change, right. quite the change indeed. Alright, so imagination. Everybody's imagination, wonder why that is. Okay, if that's the case, then I will do some imagination with, uh, Yufa. Oh. Alright. 
All right. Whoa, holy shit, seven imagination? Imagination must be super important because, yeah, they've been just handing it to me. Alrighty, we're in a new area, got some mountains here, it's kind of cool. Also, it looks like her gauntlet runner has, like, wings, which I guess sort of makes sense. I like, oh no, I just, I really like the adventure system. They did it quite well. The gauntlet runner is pretty, pretty ingenious, uh, genius idea. Oh, okay, so somebody added books. You've added books. Perfect. How to walk outside the island. Okay. Gain more tolerance. I actually need tolerance, so that works for me. Okay, six tolerance. Wow. That, that thing is leveling up so quick. We'll probably, once we finish the book, we might even just get that to five. Which is really nice. I'd say it looks like wisdom and probably courage are the slowest things to level up. Ooh. Incredible. It is incredible. It's beautiful. Speaking of... Listen! Listen? <laughs> I yes. get- I feel that. I- I don't like sleeping with bugs, what can I say? It's not- it's not my favorite pastime. Looks like we're like 40% mark for wisdom, maybe 50%, so... Wisdom is easily the t the most difficult one to level up, which makes sense. You guys are dressed awfully, like, light. It's 7 degrees Celsius out. What? What the hell? You guys are like, got short sleeves on? Just being yourself, eh, Juna? Yeah, I like Juno. Uh, like I said, though, I like all the characters. I think they're all quite good. Probably like 15 more points of imagination, then we'll get that to 5. Probably level 8 with more requires 5 imagination, if I had to guess. Alrighty, today, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was just about to say that, actually. So, I think as soon as we get to Alterbury, stuff's gonna get pretty crazy pretty quick. Especially with Count Luis, and I do think our fourth party member's gonna join us pretty shortly. I kind of have like a feeling, you know, and I think it's going to be between Idelio and Basilio, so it'll be interesting. Until then though, I'll uh, call this one quits, just to take a look at our popularity ranking. Number 8. Not too bad. Pretty good, pretty good. We also have uh, our requests, we did a ton of requests this time. Got those done. Also checking our royal virtues, 44434. Four, four, four. four is about to become 5 for a couple of them, and eloquence is right on the edge of 4, so that's nice. Picked up a bunch of archetypes now. I'm still a wizard, Stroll is a savior, Hokenberg the mass uh, samurai, I just made the ninja, Juna. Actually, let's take a look at Mass Dancer. Must be getting, getting close to this, right? Level 6. That should be good. I actually really like some of the Mass Dancer uh, stuff, and I do like the customization. Same for Yufa when she becomes a summoner. We need level 6 for that. So it's not too far off. Anyway, hope everybody uh, enjoyed this video as always. Look forward to playing some more in the future. Hey, there's the lance, by the way. Kind of a cool looking thing. And I guess we'll see what happens next time in Ultibury.